Hello, YouTube. Planet Venus. After decades of oblivion, this planet has once again found itself in the spotlight of the world's leading space agencies. You should ask yourself why. I have made another video and I will put the link to it in the description to this one about planet Venus. It's a very unusual planet, and I think our space agencies know exactly what's going on, but they really don't share it too much with us. NASA plans to launch Da Vinci and Veritas probes to Earth's sister, as some call planet Venus. And European Space Agency has decided to send an orbital and vision mission there. And let's not forget about other missions such as the Indian Shukrayan or a modest probe from Rocket Lab. Now, Russia's Roscosmos is also thinking about a mission to Venus, and it even developed a technical proposal describing the idea of this expedition. It was named Venus D. However, the prospects of the project are very vague. Very, very dim, I should say. And the chances of its implementation, in the humble opinion of Sergei, the Russian military engineer, probably former operative of the Russia Space Intelligence Agency, and graduate of the prestigious military space academy of his country, well, according to him, in the next decade, the chances of Russia getting there are absolutely zero for various reasons. And financing is the main problem, of course. And Russian space program has no ideology. There is no goal. There is no leader who, if you will, is obsessed with the romance of space exploration. As long as they have effective and doubtful managers at the head of the industry and not talented engineers, Russians will not see the sky of other planets. That's what Sergei said about his nation. And he is no enemy of the regime. But he doesn't like what's going on. And how is China doing? It's no secret that the main Chinese planetary exploration program, Tianwen, will focus its attention on nearby asteroids, Mars, Jupiter, and Uranus. Over the next few years, it seems that Venus is not included in the priorities of these Asian countries. But in fact, this is not the case at all. Last summer, the space mission program proposed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences for the period 2021 to 2030 was presented to the world community. And this program includes a proposal for flights to Venus. It also includes another interesting program that provides for the delivery of material from an asteroid. Unlike the Tianwen program, which we learned about when it was already approved, the new Chinese Academy of Sciences program proposals have not yet received the green light. However, now we have more detailed information about the proposed probe to Venus. This proposal received the English abbreviation of VOICE, Venus, Volcano Imaging and Climate Explorer. The purpose of the expedition, obviously, is to study the current volcanic activity of Venus and its climate, and also the search for possible signs of existence of life in the atmosphere of the planet. Remember the recent dispute about the Phosphine. If the voice mission is approved, it will go into space in 2026. And in 2027, it will enter an orbit 350 kilometers high around Venus to study the atmosphere and Venusian clouds. Voice will use a set of ultraviolet, optical, and infrared cameras and spectrometers. And it is in the infrared range that the search for evidence of the current activity of the volcanoes of Venus will take place. In addition to the above equipment, the voice will include a radar with a synthesized S-band aperture, 
This device will allow you to map some areas of the planet's surface. But apparently the priority in the probe's work is not at all to map almost the entire surface of Venus, as in the case of Veritas or Envision. Chinese Academy of Sciences plans to select from five to seven missions from the 13 proposals that make up China's promising space program SPP-3. It is not yet known whether voice will be one of the favorites, but the chances of the program are good. If approved, voice will complement the flotilla of American, European, and Indian probes that will study the planet closest to Earth. Interestingly, the mission, if approved, will reach Venus earlier than Veritas and Vision and Da Vinci. And in any case, it will perfectly complement the results of the work of the above expeditions. Although it is the redundancy of the results obtained that can be a negative point when approving it, the Chinese are a very pragmatic people, and Chinese Academy of Sciences representatives prefer science over politics. But regardless of whether the voice project is chosen for the implementation or not, one thing is obvious. The space projects of the Chinese Academy of Sciences will be an ideal complement to the missions of the Tianwen program. Well, my friends, let's wait a little and find out everything. What if phosphine in the clouds of Venus was discovered for a reason? And what if there are life forms on the planet? China might know something we do not. I will keep you more stories about the Chinese space uh, exploration. It's very interesting. And there, as I said in my other videos, they're really set on finding alien life in the vicinity of our planet. And they are quite serious about the prospects. Please support my research. You will find the links in the description to this video. Please tell others and understand. We live in very interesting times when it comes to space exploration. Thank you.